Hey what's going on there, this is Jason from the A-Star Tuning Team. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to configure ISDN PRI trunk on S-Series PBX. As you can see, the A-Star S-Series Void PBX provides flexible telephone interfaces combination with a unique modular design. EX30 expansion board provides one onboard port used to connect a PRI landline from the carrier. It is compatible with three types of interfaces, E1, T1, J1, and these types of signaling. The supported models are S100 and S300. If you want to use the PRI line with other models of S-Series PBX, you can integrate the PBX with the Yaystar TE Series gateway connected to the PRI line. For more information, please check the linked video. Alright, now let's jump in and check this S300. Well, first thing first, don't forget to install an AX30 expansion board on the PBX and connect the landline from the carrier to the interface. Then, log into the web GUI to confirm the connection. Go to PBX monitor. Choose trunk if the icon turns green, like this. It actually makes a successful physical connection. If you want to learn more about hardware installation, please check our hardware installation video on the channel. Alright, let's keep going. Next, go to Settings, PBX, then Trunk. We can find the E1 trunk has been added automatically to the list. Click on Edit. Customize the trunk name for your own battery management. Then choose the interface, E1, T1, or J1. Here we choose E1. As for the following settings, we mainly need to focus on three of them. Signaling and switch type. Choose the corresponding value in the drop down list according to the carrier's requirement. Signaling rule, adjust it according. We have a network and user. While usually the carrier is network and our PBX is user. But if the carrier is user, then we just choose network instead. The rest of the settings we can keep the default value. Now save and apply our changes. The final step is to confirm the connection status. So we go to PBX monitor, choose trunk. If the icon turns green, it makes an effective connection. If not, you'll need troubleshooting. It might be something wrong on your device or service provider. Anyway, that was all about the E1 configuration on Asterisk PBX. Pretty simple, right? Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Need more details? Just visit Yaystar Document Center. And I will see you guys in the next one.